Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. Hope you guys are having a good day. I'm going to try to uh, talk through the video. Uh, yesterday I put up a video with music and um, I know you guys usually aren't used to that, but I keep coughing and like throwing up and gagging. <coughs> I don't want to cough through this whole thing, but I'm going to try. Um, so I was sent some oil pastels and these are low Cornell. So they're either like AC a. Moore, Michaels, something like that, Joanne's. But anyway, it is 36 colors. And I thought it was funny because I got asked about oil pastels. Now, if you've been um, on my channel, you know that I, I do enjoy me the uh, pan pastels, which are the pastels that come in the little um, circular things. Uh, if you're not familiar with them, let me know down below and I'll do a quick, you know, show you, show you a video kind of thing. So these came in the mail and I was like, oh, well, I guess I'm going to show some oil pastel work. Again, these are very inexpensive. You can use these, uh, a coupon at most, uh, craft stores and get, you know, they have different, uh, brands and whatnot. I do enjoy the, oh, which ones do I love? No, they're not sent a layer. I don't know if I can get to them right now, but they're nice. They're nice ones. They're very expensive. <laughs> uh, I bought a long time ago. Um, I've used them before in here, but I really, really love them. They're creamy. They're delicious. But, you know, you guys were uh, asking about more affordable oil pastels rather than the pastels in the uh, palette. So well, let's see. Now, this is just a piece of art journal paper that I threw some... Um, what's this called? Tissue paper on and a little gesso on top. Not a big deal. So we're just going to play and see. I have Q-tips and I also have my, um, which you can buy these in every brand. These are from Plaid, I believe, um, that you can, you know, push. Fabric Castell has them for the, uh, those little gelatos. So yeah. So anyway, well, let's get to getting. I just want to color and show you guys a couple things um, to blend. So we'll start with the red color. This is just, is it going to have a color on it? Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not, but we're going to play. So I'm going to, we're just going to blend a little bit. And you can see, my daughter just left for work. I can smell her perfume. Can barely smell it, but I smell it. So I'm just going to go in with this red color and let's find a good yellow and as you see i'm sorry my dogs it's case she's gonna get all excitable now yo yo the dog is insane I'm not gonna lie oh geez i'm really pushing hard I tell you, I have RA and fibro, and um, I know I when I draw and stuff like that, I'm constantly breaking lead and stuff because I don't know why I, and maybe I'm the only one who does this, but I always hold on tight, too tight that it hurts probably, and I'm always pushing hard because I, it's just, that's the way I am. Um, so I'm just going to take a regular Q-tip and let's. Blend that. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I might have to do a voiceover. All right, so you can see. Now, if we put, does this have white? Uh, yeah. Okay, well, let's put a little white here. Again. Let's put a little bit of white right here. White, right. Okay. Medication makes me crazy. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know if I have the flu. I don't know what it is. My nephew had this viral that was wicked and then Dave got it. I thought I was in the clear, but no, nope. no, I got it. And he's still hacking and coughing my nephew and my husband. So you can see it blends really, really nice. And these are, you know, um, like I said, they're look how many you get and you can use your coupon. What else could we use with the orange? What colors? 
I mean, we can always go backwards and do some, let's see, darker orange here. Let's see what happens. And you can see I'm pushing down because I want that to be thick. I don't want it to be grainy looking. I want it to look smooth when I'm done. And let's see, I just want to blend. I'm blending down and it goes a long way. You know what I mean? For smooth, for smoothness. I don't know if I do it this, nope, I'm not going to do it that way, but you can see it lift up. So I'm not hating on that. Now, maybe <laughs> I'm going to turn it this way and let's see, let me do the red again. Yeah. I want to kind of outline this. Oh, you know what? I'll do it next. I get excited. Too many ideas go in my head and then I get too excited. <laughs> So I'm just going to make this like a dress. <clears throat> okay. I'm just going to blend it a little bit. Nothing, nothing too fantastic. I'm going to turn to the other side with the orange and just kind of blend it in a little bit. Okay, what was I was excited over? Oh, I know what I was excited over. Let's see. Oh, I've been cleaning and trying to do. All right, let's take our China marker. <clears throat> so sorry. <clears throat> it's the peel off. They come in different colors. Um, <clears throat> let's see if it'll write on this. Like maybe. Yeah, it does. Look at that. I mean, they, it does write on glass and all that kind of stuff. I mean, maybe pencil would too. I don't know. I'm just going to kind of do an outline here. Hmm. Do some little legs. And for you guys asking um i am we're, i'm still on keto and all that kind of stuff um been doing a little bit more lazy keto um but we're still doing it uh and what, once i get better and everything i'll do a video and i mean i look like death because my i'm just been so sick but we'll definitely do i'll do definitely do a video and that kind of stuff everything i wanted to do went to how they say hell in a handbasket yeah that <laughs> so all right, this is, oh, I keep forgetting, they don't have colors, but you can see it's a nice, like, skin tone kind of gig. Let's see. You know, I love doing the odd girls. Just do a little face and a little hand on her hip because she's sassy that way. So just a little, a little bit. She got some stockings on. <laughs> okay, so, and probably you should wipe these off when you're done so it doesn't go everywhere. What color hair, what color hair. Mm. <coughs> <coughs> I'm so sorry. Um, like my daughter had. She doesn't have this color here anymore, but she did. I'm just going to kind of just lay some of this. It's going to be darker in there. Little bangs. And what I do with my white. I'm going to lose some of this in. 
I am no expert in these kind of things. However, um, I, you know, I'm a mixed media artist, so I love using these things in my art or my journal or what have you. So um, playing with them, I love doing. Like, I just like to see what they do and, you know, how much they do. I'm going to leave my troublemaker dog. <laughs> Okay, that's cute. All right, I'm gonna just do an outline on this hair one more time. I mean, not bad, you know. I like the different colors and all that kind of stuff. So, okay. And then of course you put a face in, which I will not do at the moment because I can barely see. <laughs> My eyes are watering so bad, but I think you get the gig, right? So this is, like I said, this is a, uh, I call them a squishy pad. I don't know what they're called, but let's see. Now that you kind of, you know, you could see how you can blend and get a dress and, you know, that kind of stuff, just to show you that they, they are beautiful. You don't always have to have the most, um, Sennelier, Sennelier oil, oil pastels is what I, <laughs> Sennelier. Okay. just came to me. You don't have to have, because I, I paid a lot for my Sennelier. I don't know how much this cost, um, but like I said, you could, you probably use a coupon at your local uh, craft store, but, um, or you can go to blitzy.com. My link is down below and check out their stuff because they're, they're partnering up with AC Moore. So AC Moore will, uh, for those of you who don't know, Michael's now they're pairing up with Blitzy. So Blitzy will have like all AC Moore stuff online kind of thing. Um, so you could ship you know, stuff like that. So keep that in mind. Okay. I love this color. Oh, so I'm going to do this. Let's see what this big thing does here. We're just going to go around and around and around. I don't know why I did that. Oh my God, Kelly. Okay. Hands aren't working. We're not going that way. See, I just want to blend. Then we'll put a little bit more of this green in the middle. Let's see what we got with this. And this is dry. There's nothing. Hmm. I know my big hands in the way. I'm sorry. I like bigger things. <laughs> oh, that's what she said. I like bigger things because it's easier for me to hold with my hands. So you can see that smoothed nice, 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 nice. Well, I don't think you can see right now, but look at that. It really did uh, blend very nicely. So oh, my poor husband, I can hear him down there choking. <laughs> We're a mess. So let me see. Look at that right, right on it. Okay, so another thing I want to say really quickly is make sure you watch tomorrow's video because I will have a, um, I did a giveaway. I said whoever leaves comments in the one video. I'm a little late. I've been sick. This is my second week sick. I'm very, very sorry. But tomorrow I will be, uh, men, you know, uh, telling who the winner is. And then I'm going to just do a small package. Nothing too uh, major, but just something little. Um, you know, to do a little bit giveaways to show you guys, I do appreciate your comments and I appreciate you guys spending your time watching my videos. So that is that, but I hope you enjoyed this. I mean, you can see they're, they're less expensive. I mean, they got beautiful, beautiful colors. I mean, if we do the, let's do the rainbow. I love doing the rainbow. Let's do this red. Roy J. Biv. I always tell you guys when you're starting out, Roy G. Biv. Black, white um, for your paints because you can mix all your colors except Roy G, 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 G. Blue. Hey, I think that's blue. That's a pretty color. And then obviously white and black. I got to clean this off a little bit. Now, something that, you know, keep in mind, okay, because being a 
mixed media artist. I mean, it opens up your world to so much. Now, not that being an acrylic artist is bad because let me tell you, I wish I could. I, I just, can't, I try, I try to follow, you know, different things and, um, to try to get that. Um, but just to sit and paint acrylic, it takes me a lot longer. I enjoy it. I love when I come out with, you know, when I'm following a tutorial and that kind of thing, but a mixed media artist, you know, you can see you're mixing so many different things. I have paper, I have gesso, I have wrapping paper, whatever, a tissue paper. Um, I'm using the oil pastels. I'm using a China marker. I'm using a cute, do you see what I'm saying? You're just using different things. Um, and like this, for instance, right? Oh, apparently I have red on there, but like this, this isn't going to come up. Um, no, I can layer on top of here if I wanted to, as far as mixed media, um, but you should do this part last technically, but it, it sinks into your paper and stuff like that, which, you know, I like because I can now write on it. I can stamp on it. I can do whatever I want. If you guys want to see a mixed media background using these with my other uh, supplies, let me know down below because I would be glad to do it to show you, you know, so I'm going to go red into orange. Oh, still a little dirty. Moving down. Oh, no. Dirty, dirty, dirty. And clean it, gonna muff. But what we'll do is you're getting a poopy brown color. That's okay. Let's see what we can do. I love let's lay some white in between these colors and sing. If this helps it, and let me use the back of the Q-tip for the red because, oh yeah. There's no messing up. You just play, you know? Like I said, this makes great um, backgrounds and stuff. And yes, you can, of course, do beautiful, <laughs> do beautiful <laughs> things like this, but Again, like I said, I mean, to play in your mixed media and that kind of thing, why not? Um, Sharpies, alcohol ink uh, markers will go, will write over this as well. I don't think I have my Sharpie in front of me right now. Why would I? Why would you, Cal? I don't know. But anyway, just so you guys got to, you know, I wanted to thank, um, some people don't like to be said their names and I'm sorry, but thank you very much for sending me this and... I also have a video going to be coming up using chalks because I get asked that a lot. And I have a couple of things I'd like to show you about that because I do enjoy um, the pebbles uh, chalk things, which I'll show you in another video. But that is it. I hope that if you guys have oil pastels sitting around or you go to, oh, you know where you can get these at too? Five below. If you have a five below by you, um, you can get these for five dollars or less. Might be a different brand, but I know that they have art supplies there. Um, I just don't go because my anxiety and my anxiety to spend too much money too. I don't like leaving the house. Anyway, that's a whole other video. Um, December's coming quick and I'm not looking forward to it. So that is it. Let me know what you guys do. Let me know what you guys think. I love you guys so very much. All your emails and stuff just blow my mind. I'm so thankful and so blessed and you know, and if you found me by chance and you're like, what the heck is this mess of a woman? Um, my name is Kelly. Ah, and if you'd like to subscribe, please click the subscribe button down below and the bell next to it. All of you click that bell so you can be notified when I upload. Lately, it's been a little sporadic because I've been sick. Um, I hope I didn't get, make you guys too sick with my voice coming through. Um, but I love you guys. And as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.